this Daily Dose of Daryl entitled Time or Who's the Boss? Who's controlling time or is time controlling you? You know, as I do this Daily Dose of Daryl, I get a, you know, some feedback from time to time and I ask people what are the topics that you'd like to do? You'd like for me to discuss or talk about or research? Anyway, a lot of people seem to still be struggling with time even though we all get about 24 hours a day, each day, about the same amount. And a lot of us approach it different ways. We have different systems we try to do, and sometimes it ends up controlling us. A lot of people make notes. I've learned if you make notes, that's good. But if you lose the note, that's bad, <laughs> or if you forget where it is. And we always try to take time for a meal, and sometimes we can do that quickly, like in a fast food. And then other times we try to take our time and do something pretty healthy. So I'd like for us to begin to look at this today. And we have some practical ideas and tips that may help us. So pay attention not only to this wonderful bird and this scenery while we do this, but learn some things as we go along. Many use the 4Ds management style. It's a kind of a general rule of thumb. And that is to do, defer, delegate, or drop. So go ahead and do what you can. That's the first thing in this particular style. Do it if you can. Defer or delay what might solve itself and is not critical. You know, some things work themselves out if it's not critical. Sometimes if you get it a little time, it'll take care of itself. Three, delegate to someone who might be better for the task. Yep, there are people out there that actually do things maybe a little better, more efficiently. Look for them. And then four, delete or drop the things that you can do without. You know, after time, sometimes we look and think, well, we could do without that. Also, let's look at some more specifics because everybody likes general, but specifics are better. Rank task in importance and deadlines, plus look at geography, how your car goes throughout the day and don't go backtracking. Compare your task list with the goals that you have set. Make sure they line up according to what you're trying to achieve. Make a tentative schedule with time cushion between tasks because things don't always go like you planned. Leave a little room in there. Keep one control list to manage the day and make sure all the different notes and items are on that list so it doesn't get scattered and fragmented. Also, break the big tasks into smaller chunks like maybe doing taxes. One day for research, one day for data, one day for forms. Remove yourself from distractions. Everyone has them. So find a way to remove yourself from those distractions intentionally and take breaks when you're working. You know, even the heart rests between beats. And so you need that little time in there to uh, work and recover, work and recover, and find your most productive times and make them count. Some people are morning people, some afternoon, some evening. Find what works for you and make the most of those times. Also accept your limitations. Not everyone can do everything all the time. So identify those limitations and accept them and learn to say no. That's the hardest thing for most people that are very productive, type A personalities, want to do it all, learn to say no. And then develop a way to track your time. Perhaps it's a smart device or a clock or setting alarms, but be aware where you are each day. I have an inner clock, but I don't trust it. Things that try to stop you are there also. One is fear of failure. A lot of people don't do things and move forward because they are afraid of failure. Attack that fear. Too many interruptions can also do that to you. So learn to protect yourself. Find intentional ways to protect yourself from interruptions. It could be a secretary. It could be something else. Procrastination. Well, that's the big one. Most people that get in this situation just learn to procrastinate. Put it off until another time. And we put it off and put it off and put it off and put it off. Don't put it off. I hope these practical tips will help you in your time management. Who's the boss anyway? Time management still remains one of the most requested topics I receive on this channel. Everyone gets the same amount each day, but some struggle more than others. I hope these practical tips will help you as you deal with it in your own life. I am Daryl R. Peebles. Thank you for learning to better control your time rather than it controlling you. 
progress and flexibility are key elements. Be nice to yourself and to others. It's all about time. Right now is the time. God bless you.